Earlier this month, Always Investigating revealed what's causing havoc along some coastal areas. And there could be an encore, what they call King Tides, striking right alongside the Memorial Day weekend. Gina Mangieri is always investigating and explains what's being done to prepare. Gina? Joe, we first exposed how unexpected flooding statewide last month was traced back to unusual tides stacked on already higher sea levels. Now agencies across the state are on guard for the next event and gearing up for what could be significant flooding. King tides are abnormally high water events that even on their own could be a nuisance for coastal roads and buildings. But the tides are not alone. They're stacking atop a pile of other things causing already higher sea levels. One is incremental sea rise, plus a Pacific wide upwell hanging around since the last El Nino, plus eddies, currents caught in a swirl that are pushing up too. And now this Thursday, Friday and likely beyond, comes a king tide around two and a half feet atop a south swell that could top eight foot advisory levels. If we get a you know big southern swell on top of the eddy, on top of the Pacific decadal signal, um, we will go above the April event, considerably above it. The April event he's talking about was the Friday evening always investigating covered when tides washed out roads and beaches, breached sidewalks, and caused havoc for homes and businesses. Red dot is the April event. So that was the highest water level ever recorded for a day average. Back to 1905. 1905. Yeah. Wow. Here's what to watch out for as the next king tide rolls in. It's of course not just Waikiki. All the whole south shore of Oahu, south shore of most islands will be facing the same sort of problem. So high water levels, potentially high waves, beach erosions, a potential problem. And then overwash as these waves reach the shoreline. Should there be caution in and around the water, too? Uh, the higher the water level, the higher the waves at the coast, as it turns out, in many of the areas around the islands. And the more waves, the more current, rip current, there will be. So um, potentially strong rip currents um, during the peak of the tide. In June, the next king tide is expected to be even higher. And then another one comes in July. The message is that this is going to be quite higher than what we typically experience. The June is actually forecasted to be the highest tide prediction, so potentially these other things could also stack up to contribute to the water level. It's a risk big enough to get the attention of officials who usually watch things like hurricanes and tsunamis. The head of state emergency management held an all-hands-on-deck coordination across state, county, and federal agencies in advance of the tides. We are standing by with the appropriate resources to support it as it gets higher and higher. What kinds of impacts do you expect high tides like this could have? What kind of hazards are you looking for? This is all flooding. This is not a flash flood, but this is a, a low rise of flooding. He says the public should gear up as they would for any forewarned weather event. When you look at floods and, and critical infrastructure that's a step, well, what can you do? There's only two things you can do is, is move it or protect it. That's all you can do. Get an idea ahead of time. Do I evacuate my important material out of my, my structures? Or do I try to protect it? Uh, this is the sandbags and all that kind of diversion kind of stuff. But that's all we can do at this point in time. Between all of the civil defense agencies, what coastal infrastructure can you realistically protect? Or will you be focusing on the most this coming weekend through the summer? Well, I think, you know, from, from our standpoint, it's really the critical infrastructure. This is the power plants, the sewer treatment plants. You know, the city and county has a sewer treatment plants on Sand Island. And then DLNR and Department of Transportation are going to be highly affected with the seacoast roads, uh, making those clear, and the uh, seacoast erosion uh, efforts that have gone in the past. Hawaii's busiest tourist district is also gearing up for the king tide. For them, this is an issue, but they're ready for it. What are the hotels doing? Well, they're, they're making sure that they've got sandbags prepared. It's not just the, the surf, it's the groundwater. As, as they're, you're getting all that pressure, the groundwater comes up as well. So uh, threatened are, you know, the underground support areas in the hotel and the, uh, you know, underground parking garages. In that April tide, the Friday fireworks over Waikiki were called off when the beach staging area became a wash. Hilton Hawaiian Village says they intend to launch fireworks this Friday by taking extra measures to safely stage the show. Visitors are likely to get a heads up about staying safe in the water, too. Oftentimes they will uh, alert their, 
their guests if there is a situation such as that. But usually they work very closely with the ocean safety people and they're, they're, they stay right on top of this information. So the lifeguards will be keeping a close eye on Correct. This. Civil Defense says hurricane season along with king tides could bring a double whammy. June 1st is hurricane season start. Okay, so this has to be put together with that hazard. We're going to have to have some input there about the high, this high tides uh, significance. Does your worry grow through the summer? Well, no question that, uh, that these high tides are something that are unusual. I mean, we, we have not kind of experienced these before, but we've been prepared for these kinds of events before. We work very closely with civil defense, and we'll be ready. We'll be on guard this week as the tides roll in, keeping an eye out for any flooding. Also, with the south swell coming in, our KHON2 weather team will be keeping you up to date on the surf and ocean forecast. Stay with KHON2 for the very latest updates on the king tide phenomenon. Gina Mangieri, KHON2 News. UH wants your help to document and photograph the statewide impact of the king tide event in your area. Our website, khon2.com, has information on their project. And while you're there, we've posted much more on how each county, state agencies, and industries are preparing for the king tides, as well as more information on the tides and when they're happening. All that as part of our King Tide Web Extras at khon2.com.